the Edmonton Police Commission is going back to the drawing board on a policy which critics say will make it harder for members of the public to speak at its meetings. It appears the commission doesn't really respect the public as it lists the ability to speak as a privilege of the public and not your responsibility uh, and duty to hear from us. What are you trying to accomplish here? Do you want public input? Do you want to be a civilian oversight body? That was a reaction during Thursday afternoon's virtual meeting. The proposed rules would bar the public from bringing in any signs, make speakers sign up 24 hours in advance, and bans anyone from presenting on the same topic more than twice a year. It would also give the commission chair the power to cut people off if they stray away from the agreed upon topic. The public will also be banned from making any allegations against commission or making, quote, unreasonable or unfounded statements or demands. Nobody from the commission was at the post-meeting press conference, but the police chief fired back at critics. We're accountable in many ways to ask questions to the public, everything from public complaints to everything else. So first of all, I'd say that is highly inaccurate. And I'd say second of all is, you know, I don't think any one individual speaks for all of the public. The policy change comes about a week after police commission refused to attend a city council meeting and to provide more information about its audits. Those moves drew public criticism and frustration from councillors. Commission officials said the public speaker policy needs to be updated to, quote, remove ambiguities and keep the meetings in order. Recent meetings have been moved to virtual only after some commissioners said they didn't feel safe meeting in public. In the end, a decision on the new policy was delayed after several commissioners expressed concerns, asked for changes and suggested more public consultation. A revised policy will be brought forward at a future meeting. Reporting from downtown Edmonton, Sean Amato, City News.